to my first Hearthstone Arena run in English. And we are right here in the heroes area where I can choose one of the three heroes. Mm. Which class do I want to play? Gul'dan the Warlock. And when Priest or Mathurian Druid. Okay, so let's evaluate. I really think Warlock is an instable class in Arena because of the self-destructive elements of their minions, so um, taking some damage to get a little bit better minion is cool, but mm. and the discard can sometimes hurt really, really much. But you don't have to ignore that the minions really strong, are uh, really strong. Sorry. So, Anduin. Oh, Priest has on the plus side that you can um, have a really good control deck and you really can go forward. And Malfurion Storm Rage. Okay, Druid, uh, man. <laughs> Druid has many has many good options to ramp up to get greater minions, maybe to have some more sustainable minions with more health and better flexibility in situations with his cards. Mm. So I'm more tricked between priest and druid. And I think I would start with priest. Mm. Find it more interesting with the new <laughs> with the new class quest, I think that's the only slight piece of positive information that Priest has above Druid, so yeah. I would like to say we play Priest for this first arena run. I won't let you down. Uh, I won't let you down either. <laughs> oh <laughs> and it starts with an epic card, okay. So discover a copy of a spell in your deck. Hmm. Okay, also Weasel Tunneler is obviously no choice. Mind games is a problem. If you play it, you can also get a minion that costs less than four. If it costs three, you at least traded one mana for information about the deck of your enemy. That would be very cool. But I don't think the card is worthy to play it. You have really the problem that there are now more drops for one and two, and so you have a great chance to get no mana surplus and information, but to pay like three, at least two mana for the information of one minion in your enemy's deck and one weak minion on your board. Shadow Vision is draw a spell in your deck. Mm. If I can't get enough spells in my deck, it could be problematic, but I think it's the best choice here because of the backstrike of mind games. I think I take Shadow Visions. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think that Mind Games would have been the better choice. Hmm. Well, because I'm really struggling with this, but I take Shadow Vision now. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> oh, and there we get a clear good choice. So Eldritch Horror is obviously no good choice. It's just a vanilla 8 mana creature. 6 attack, 10 life is okay, but not good. There are better 8 mana creatures. And then you have the Scrambling Tentacle, that's okay, especially for priests, but um, the Tortolan Shell Razor, I think 2 6 with Taunt for 4 mana is obviously good. It's the stat value of the Sentient Shield Master, and you have the Death Rattle to give a friendly minion plus 1 plus 1. So if it isn't silenced, He's more like a 3-7 for 4 mana, and that's really good. With Taunt, I mean... <sighs> wow. <coughs> Sorry. So, oh, oh, and I think here it's easy too. Binding here. 
it's not good. Restore 5 health to a minion and your hero. Mm. Core Hound is 9547, but that means that really many minions for 4 and 6 mana can kill him. And that many spells for 3 or 4 mana can kill him, so. I think it. Yeah, I take the big time record here. Ah, yes. Oh, oh. The total and shell razor again. I do <laughs> Menagerie magician. Yes. Give a friendly beast, dragon, and warlock plus two plus two. <laughs> of course. And. Sated. Treasure done. Yeah. Trash. <laughs> really trash. Summon three one one murlocs. No, no. Tall Razor. Ah, and of course the Shadow Word Pain. The others are okay cards, but not really good. Oh, so Fire Plum Phoenix. Battle Cry deals 2 damage, and it's 3-3 three, three elemental for 4 mana. The Pantry Spider is just bad. Summon a 3-1, 1-3, so, uh, sorry, a 3-1 would be maybe acceptable, but yeah, let's see. You have a 3-1 that summon. you have a 1-3 <laughs> that summons a 1-3, sorry. And these are beasts. I'm a priest. Yes, of course, I could heal them, mm, but one attack is no problem. And I think Divine Spirit is no good take in the arena. Um, except you have many, many power word shields. Then you could take it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I take the Fire Plum Phoenix. Or the Plume. Mm, I don't know the correct pronunciation. And there it goes. So, Needless Initiation. Hmm? Thought Steal. You get two cards that are in the deck of your opponent. Or you get Power World Shield. I mean, it's a, it's a healing for one. And you draw a card. Hmm. Not bad. But is Sword Steel the better option? <coughs> well, at least it could give me some random fi I don't know. I really don't know. I would like to take Thought Steel. Yes, I think I do. And then I will take I think I will take the North Shark Cleric. It draws cards. I don't have any dragon dragons here. So yeah. And Night Blade isn't good. Oh another epic card. Oh and another Shadow Vision. Discover Shadow Vision to Discover Shadow Vision, and I have Sword Steel and Shadow Word Pain. Hey, Faceless Chambler. I don't think I have a good target at the moment. Total and Shell Razor. Hmm. Draw a card, change its cost to 5. I think this can really backfire. I really would like to take the Faceless Chamber and I think I will take some big minions later and then it will get better. But this kind of draw card is... Uh, I don't think this is really good in Arena. Mm, I don't know. For one attack it's a bad version of the Gnomish Inventor. I think it's really a bad version. And another Shadow v Vision at this point. I don't know. Do I want to go full in of spells? I could do. But, uh. It's like a lame card. It, it doesn't push me further. No, no. I take the Faceless Chamber. And hope for a good.
cards to come to take. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Crystalline Oracle. Death metal, copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. <coughs> this seems really like a good idea. The pin size potion is like an indirect mass removal. And free from ember. Hmm? Oh, it's okay. It's discover a minion that costs eight or more, summon it. I mean, yeah, obviously you can choose but three but between three minions that cost eight and you get it. So it's a minion. No, if it doesn't get countered, it's a minion. Pin sized potion is kind of a mass removal, but not really. I don't know if this card is better than this card. This is a solid 8 drop. This is a solid 1 drop. Ah, uh, this is bad. But I think at the moment... Um, yeah, there was uh, one tip from Trump for Arena. The first 15 cards you can pick what you want and after that you have to pick what you need. So I could take free from Amber, but I think the Crystalline Oracle is a little bit better than the pin-sized potion and free from Amber. Uh, a little. Wow. I take the third. Turtle and Shell Razor. These are really good. This is a bad. Even for Murlocs it's not good. And this is okay, but I think this is a little bit better. Has a st has states um, of ten and this of eleven, and this costs two more. No, no, this is better. Okay, so here it's really easy. We take priest of the feast because nature ma magician in arena. I mean, even in constructed, it's hard in arena, maybe, but no. And cookie chemist. Mm. It's okay, but <coughs> sorry, I think Priest of the Feast is much better. Oh yeah, freeze an enemy. One mana, two one. <laughs> Duskborn of yes, of course. <laughs> Four one. <laughs> and this Dagodon with the two six value. So the stats. <coughs> sorry. So the stats may be in total the same as the Ascension Shieldmaster, but this one lesser attack makes him weaker, because there are many minions with 3 life. And if you aren't a mage, you at least have to attack this minion, and this is bad. Hmm? Okay, so... Well, maybe I take the 2-1 for 1 mana. Of course, I think I have enough um, good versions of the Stegadon, so I don't need him. And I think I, d I have enough 4 drops. Mm. I don't miss anything on this spot, and Dusk Boar is not a good card, so we take the Elemental. Oh, okay. Dragon Fire Potion. <laughs> and another shadow vision. So the fell orc soul find. If I'm not able to heal, maybe I have to take the mana for a minion, then it's bad. You can... Like li like a mage. You, I play it. The mage frost bolts him. At the start of my turn, he gets plus two damage. I can't heal him. So he has two damage left. At the start of my next turn, he dies without doing anything and he's removed for two mana. Or maybe or maybe you freeze him or anything else and then you run into him. Or maybe you just do him five damage. Next round he's dead. That's not good. I, I don't think the Fell Orc Soul Find is good. You always should take other cards than this. So without with that said, Shadow Vision. The third they offered, but I only have three spells, so I don't take it. But the best removal, the Dragonfire Potion, is really, really good. Oh my god. 
I take another Tortolan Shell Razor. I like this card really much because of its death rattle. It has a better value than the Staggerdon. Daring Reporter is cool and stuff, but she's 4 mana for 4 and then she dies. And the Nesting Rock, I have to control 2 minions to activate his taunt. Then he's 4 7 taunt. Which is okay. For one mana, he is plus one, plus two above the sentient shield master. If I don't have enough minions, then he's four seven, which is okay ish, but I think um, it's better to play another Total and Shell Razor. Maybe we are at the f stage where I have to say. See a total and shell razor. Pick a total and shell ra uh, shell razor. Another four drop. I don't think I should take any more four drops. I mean, I have. Okay, this is more like a late game. But one, two, six, seven. Oh no, six, six. It's enough. So I need a smaller one. And at at the moment, I just have two elementals. So it would be really hard to activate this. And then. He's a shield master without taunt. If I can activate he has taunt and divine shield, which makes him not that much better. And this could be cool, but uh, normally as a priest you don't want your minions to die, you want to heal them. So I take another crystalline oracle. Oh, oh wow, what a choice. So I have no murdochs. I still don't think the Pantry Spider is worth at 3 mana. Because at 3 mana, summon 2 creatures that should cost a half mana or maybe a mana. I mean, for neutral cards, it's a mana. For class cards, it would be half mana. If you remember the um, Void Walker, he's 1 3 taunt. Mm. I take the Rockpool Hunter. He has more sustainability. And if I take another Murloc. I could use this ability, but the Bloodfin Raptor is just 3-2. Mm. It's okay, but I think the Rockpool Hunter is a little bit better for Priest. Sorry, I don't know why this lags at the moment. <coughs> so, we have the Bock Creeper as an okay card. He's plus 3 plus 3 if you go to the Sentient Shieldmaster for 2 mana more, which is an okay deal. It's okay creature, but you also have here <laughs> the Mistress of, mixture, of Mixtures. <laughs> it really, really helps in the early game, and I just have 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 minions for that. And I don't think he will help. I take. The mistress above the bock creeper. Creeper. Uh, <coughs> I really think I should do, <sighs> but it's hard to decide this. But yeah, of course I take her. Okay, this is really easy to do. Thought steal and pin size summoner. Mm -hmm. Vicious flatling. Fletchling. After this minion attacks, a hero adapt. A solid 3 mana. <laughs> Another 4 mana just to uh, get rid of secrets. Hmm. And the pin size summoner. If she can survive, I can play a Tortolan Shell Razor at turn 3. If. If not, hmm. But I think 3 drop wouldn't be that bad at the moment. I don't need another 4 drop. And I don't think he's that good. He's <coughs> in best ways he destroys a secret. That would be really good. And then he has a value of 3, 5. Combination with the destroying a secret, it's good. But uh, I think you can normally play around uh, secrets 
good enough to not take him if you have the choice of a pin-sized summoner or a vicious fledgling. But at the moment it's hard for me to decide, I just have one minion with uh, for two mana and I have three cards for two mana and I have two cards for three mana. I think she's a little bit situational, but maybe you can play her in late game and he's just three mana, three three. And both have the negative point that may have to survive that turn. Hmm. So I think he has a little better op way to survive. Okay. <laughs> so, I have two draws and here. Yeah, two draws, so I think, and oh, and the Narshire Cleric, so I think I have enough card draw so that I don't have to pick the card master, though I would say normally it's a must pick if you lack on card draw. Uh, the face left behemoth is just 10 mana, 10, 10. It's okay in arena, but mm, but the gadgets and social light could me help to sustain my late game minions if I can pick some. <laughs> And it also can help me to he heal me, and it's a two drop, and uh, I think it's okay. It's anti anti aggro. Hmm. The Nether Spite Historian. All the volatile elemental. Mm -hmm. So. I think I don't have any dragons, and the only dragons that was offered to me <laughs> was the fairy dragon. Crystalline Oracle and Thought Steel could give me a dragon. I don't know if the Volatile Elemental is better than the Nefari and the Nether Spite Historian. At least he has she has the better stats, the Elemental is okay. I just have three elementals in my deck would be the fourth, but oh no, the fifth. I have the fire plume phoenix. Um but I have no cards that trigger on elementals at the moment, so I don't take it and the dragonling mechanic isn't a good card. I take the nether spite historian and see if I can get a dragon. Shadow word horror destroy all minions with two or less attack. Obviously not good. So, I could take an holy fire. It would be another removal and another spell in combination of priest of the feast and why is it? Shadow vision. This could be cool. Hmm? Free from ember would be a good High drop, but I think I like removals at the moment. I have creatures 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, yes, 16, 17. So, yeah, I take the Holy Fire above the free from Amber. Hope this is right. Okay, and this is easy. Say the trash. Treasure done is trash. Binding here is not that good in arena, I think. So I take the Bock Creeper. And here we go, a Devil's Sorrow Egg. Yeah, well, it could get plus one, plus one from Tortoise and Shell Razor, but hmm. Mass Dispel is not good. Just silence enemy minions and draw a card. I think I take another Crystalline Oracle. Aha. Uh -huh. And here we'll play the solid 3 drop. I think. Igneous Elemental. And I get two one twos on my hand. Uh -huh. So the Cleric would be good to draw, but I don't think I have three Crystalline Oracles. One Northshire Cleric, two Thought Steals. I think I have enough draw. 
I don't need more draw, I need solid minions, so I take the man Berserker. <coughs> well, so I could take <laughs> another Crystalline Oracle to have just six elementals and oh no, seven elementals and no card that triggers on elementals, but I could get the Midnight Dragon for my little dragon combo with the holy f uh, with the dragonfire potion and the nether spider story hmm. sounds good for me mm. uh, so let's warm us out and i don't need any more one drops so yeah i need definitely a four drop of course it's not that i'm missing a spot here ah forbidden shaping good card bitter tight hydra Whenever this minion takes damage, deal 3 damage to your hero. Ah, okay. 5 mana, 8, 8. <laughs> really good. But has a little bit of backstroke because of my enemy just um, sacrifices small minions with 1 or 2 attack. To kill it, I will definitely die. And the Twilight Summoner, I think, has an interesting death rattle. If he dies, I get a 5-5. Five five. Forbidden Shaping is another spell. Could fill the spot of 5, 6, 7 and above. Really good. Yeah, I think I take it over the other two. This could be a destruction if you play too late. This could get silenced and for this reason it's just a 1-1 one one at the moment. but. Yeah, it's okay-ish. Uh, but I think Forbidden Shaping is a little bit better because of its flexibility. Woohoo! Okay, so... Um, Fight Promoter. First of all, I think I don't need more card draw and I just have... the Big Time Racket here and the Bock Creeper. I ah, know, and the Priest of the Feast. Okay, I have just three minions with six or more health. Okay, so um, Blaze Corner. If you played an elemental last turn, deal five damage. So it could get in phase and above, but I also could get another dragon, which would make my Dragonfire potion and my Nether Spider Story a little bit stable, more stable. And it's a mass removal. Wow. And I think it's that much better than this Murloc Overseer. How is it called? Uh, oh, Blaze Caller. I definitely can activate Blaze Caller. I mean, here, here. Where is it? Here. <laughs> but I think. Primordial Drake is a little bit better because of its mass removal effect than just dealing 5 damage. I think I can get rid of big minions. So, and that's it. The last card. That was the deck building part of this first arena run in English. And before we start, I just would like to have an overlook, overlook over my deck. So, I really like that I have Forbidden Shaping to fill in the spots that I can fill with the rest of my hand. And I really like the Crystalline Oracles, so I get many informations about the deck of my enemy. And I get cards, and I draw cards. That's really good for one mana. I think it's good in Arena. Yeah, and then I got the Nosha Cleric. Sadly, just one Shadow Word Pain, but mm, okay. I can heal and stay alive. Thought Steel maybe an okay card draw, not good, but okay. And Dragonfire Potion and Holy Fire to get rid of big minions, or maybe to get rid of mass of minions and mass of big minions too with Dragonfire Potion. And last but not least, the Primordial Dragon, uh, Primordial Drake. Not just to activate the Nether Spite Historian and to survive. <laughs> Dragonfire Potion, but also to kill lots of minions in the late game when my enemy 
build it a ward and I just go in with a drake that's 4-8 taunt and then destroy all minions. <laughs> or maybe not destroy all minions but deal 2 damage to all minions. Well, removes all the pesky little divine shields and remove enough life from greater minions that they have to die when they attack with a primordial drake. And of course it kills smaller minions in instant. <laughs> and therefore I also have the Midnight Drake. <laughs> mm. well, we'll see. Ah, and when it comes to card draw, well maybe I have the Nessus by the story, but I really don't count her because I just have two um, late game dragons and don't have any other dragons. And I don't think I will get so much dragons out of the Crystalline Oracle and out of the Sword Steels. Yeah, and that's it for the first video for this arena run in English. See you soon when I play the first round.